Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode 6 of my Minecraft 1.17 Survival Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed the last two episodes. If you didn't watch them, I highly encourage it. I will not give away what this is called. It's definitely not the circular tilted diagonal farm. Not the circular tilted diagonal farm for sure. Uh, we went mining last episode. If you wanted to see what I got mining, you can look at the thumbnail where you can actually watch yesterday's mining video or watch the day before that and where I built this thing. So if you want to miss out, go start on episode four if you didn't watch one, two, or three. So I will open this barrel. This contains what we got last episode mining. So if you want to watch it, now's your last chance. Okay. So we got all this stuff. Pretty good bit of stuff, huh? I think so. So we're going to go up here. We're going to start smelting things. Uh, we only got 45 coal. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. Okay, we got 45 coal and that's enough. Okay, that's enough. So we're just going to... I don't even have room to like throw things in a furnace. We, I'm just going to start smelting all this stuff, okay? So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we got almost all of our furnaces working here. We got iron, we got copper, iron, iron, copper, copper, and gold. So we'll let all that stuff smelt. We can actually build some paths. Uh, but in this episode, I wanted to do some fun stuff. I know I say that every episode, but it's truthful. I want to do some fun stuff. And look how much lapis we got. One mining expedition, and we're a whole lot more lapis richer. I'll tell you that right now. And we got our first diamonds, which is kind of cool. Now, I think I want to put the copper right there. I'm not really sure what I was doing putting it over there. Um, yeah, our inventory is pretty much cleared out. There's not a whole lot I can put up. Maybe some coal. Maybe a few uh, alive things. Like the salmon and the potatoes. Okay, so this goal, or sorry, in today's episode, our goal is going to be to build a farm of sugarcane, hopefully of cows, a bunch of stuff. So let me grab some materials I'm going to need, and I'll meet you guys back down, and we'll fall into the hole of destinies. Uh, but yeah, this thing is not grown yet all the way, but it's okay. It, 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 it's getting there. It's getting there, okay? Oh, yeah. And we got a diamond pickaxe now. We had to get that to mine the obsidian, but I'm going to put that up. We don't really want to use that yet. We're going to want to enchant it for maximum efficiency. And let's fall into the pool of destiny in our big giant world. Oh, and we also made a discovery last episode. If you didn't see it, I'll catch you up. I used to be a part of a group of people, and uh, things were going okay until they weren't. And some uh, animals died, and things happened. And now I've run away and started my own little uh, area, which I think is looking quite awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, they found me, and they made a camp over there. So if you want to find out more, go in the last episode and watch it. It's near the beginning. Uh, let's just say they're not good people, and no, we are not on good terms. But we're not going to deal with that for now. We don't really have anything or any way to deal with it. But we might want to think about building a wall around our base so that they can't watch us anymore. But hmm, maybe a good idea. We'll see. All right, so I've been out here in the desert getting some screenshots of the circular diagonal, circular tilted diagonal farm or maybe it was tilted circular diagonal farm i can't remember uh, but we're gonna check on some of our ores because i want to make a path over to that like i want to have that copper path kind of throughout the world so let's just see how much copper we have in here i know there is some in the chest as well um but hopefully we can get a good bit it's starting to oxidize finally and i think it's looking pretty good um, it looks better than i expected it to look um, it looks like we have stuff to smelt in here. And I, see, I, I, I don't know why, okay? Like, I, I, don't ask me. But for some reason, we have all this extra stuff to smelt. And it was just sitting in the wrong spot the whole time. Sitting in my chest instead of in a furnace. So we'll just throw it in here and we'll call it good. I know I could stack it with the other ones. It's okay. All right. Okay, that's all the ores, right? Yes. All right. Let's see. How many of these blocks can we make? Probably not very many. It's taking a lot to build these paths, but I mean, honestly, that's okay. It's kind of, kind of, I'm kind of digging it. So, you know, you know how it goes. Uh, but for the sugarcane farm, of course, we're going to hook up uh, in, a, what are they called? We're going to hook up an aqueduct because we're not just going to, you know, like randomly do it and not have an aqueduct. So we're going to have to hook that up at some point. Um, but yes, I'd love to have a path going over to, going over to this thing. Just trying to make sure it's all kind of lined up. Now, I don't know if we have enough copper to like do a full blown path yet, but we can do our best and like, you know, try. Do we have enough? I'm hoping so. Let's see. We can kind of just make a path like this for now. Yeah, that'll be fine. I do have some sand on me. See, I was thinking ahead, okay? I actually thought ahead for once. I knew I was going to need sand for something. I, I didn't actually think ahead, but I'm telling you, I thought ahead. 
That way you'll think I thought ahead, but I actually didn't. I just kind of grabbed some sand because I was like, eh, might need it. And look, that, look at that. We, we, we did technically need it. Okay. I'm sure we'll connect that diagonally and then put one more block like right there. Okay. Looks good to me. Now we just need to grab some acacia fence and finish it off. So give me a second. And look at that, guys. The sun is setting on our beautiful world. Things are actually turning out really well for us. You know, I, at first I was like, eh, I don't know if I like this world too much. And then, and then I started building and I was like, okay, I like it. And I know that doesn't really make sense, but uh, you know, you, you just don't know how things are going to turn out until you do them, I guess. You can plan it all you want, but until you do it, you just don't know. And isn't that a beautiful, a beautiful shot going over our aquifer? I think so. I think it's actually pretty cool. Okay, let me sleep and I'll, we'll build the path together. All right, we got a long day ahead of us. We're going to gather some cows after doing this. Now, that's going to be kind of the fun part. Now, as for building the path up here, okay, I already messed up. <laughs> Maybe I should do this off camera because otherwise we're going to end up with a path that looks like this, and that is not what I'm going for here. Um, we will have to put, like, a few slabs down, I think, kind of on the inclines just to, you know, make it walkable. I think that's a smart idea. Um, so, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that way we can kind of walk up it without having to struggle too much. Oh, uh, yeah, but if there's a copper block there, it probably shouldn't be there. We'll just end up putting it... No, we need to put sand there. We'll put the copper block right here. There we go. We're figuring things out. We're figuring things out. Okay. Uh, and then we'll put a little sandstone slab there. And then we'll have to figure this out a little bit, but it should be all right. Yeah, that's easy. Now we can run up and down it all we want. Except for that one which there's a copper block under. Okay, so let me line this bad boy up with fence. I'll come back when I'm done because I recognize this is kind of boring. Give me a second. All right, now we just get to place a few lanterns around this deal. We don't have a ton, so we can't like put like a bunch, but we can put quite a bit. Oh, and I think this will kind of tie off the whole thing, make it look a lot better because, uh, yeah, it was looking kind of sparse there for a bit. There's like a few things, you know, I'll probably go around and change. Uh, maybe I'll do it off camera because... Yeah, it's not. See, the fence like right there just looks weird. So if there's any fences like that, I'm gonna make the executive decision and remove them because yeah, we <laughs> we're not gonna need fences like that. So yeah, I think this path looks pretty good. Yeah, it's okay if there's it's okay if there's not a fence there, but if they're like connected like that, we do not need that much connection. That's too much. So it's not like actually a fence. I mean, I mean it is actually a fence, but you know what I mean. It doesn't actually like fence it off. Uh, that way, you know, because it's kind of annoying if you want to, like, walk off. You know, you have to go to the end of the path. I'd rather not have it like that. Um, but yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Okay. So now we have a path. It, it's a little too wide over here, maybe? Hold on. Let let me let me look at this from afar. No, I think it's okay. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll deal with it. Okay, so we got to figure out the cows. We also got to figure out the sugar cane. So the only path that we have not... Oh, actually, we only used one path off of this thing? Oh, Okay. Well, I know what that means. I've got to go get a bunch of sandstone. We have enough to get two more stacks, and that should be good. We'll build it over here, so we'll have that path go off and come down here, and we'll build a big old sugarcane farm. How about that? So let me go mine some sandstone, get it smelting, and I'll meet you guys at the aqueduct after we have enough to work with. Also, guys, I'm tired of this entrance to the sandstone mine just looking real shabby. Like, you, you got to admit, even if you're not a builder, this looks kind of shabby. So we're going we're gonna to do something to it. Uh, sure. We'll, we'll do it like this and then we'll just, we'll just put like something here. I mean, honestly, it just looks like garbage. So let's at least fix it up a little bit. It doesn't need to be anything. Okay. It doesn't need to be anything super fancy. Uh, but maybe like, you know, adding a little bit to it probably couldn't hurt anything. Okay. There we go. Now, now we can have a proper, oh no. Now we can have a proper entrance. Okay. I think that'll just, you know, heighten our spirits when we come into here. We don't have to deal with this weird looking weird just garbage thing there we go okay better than it was it's better than it was it's not the best i know wait wait wait, 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 wait. let's put this here okay see my mind started working there we go sure that's actually that's fine okay and we'll just have to back this one block up and we got the sandstone or the sand to fill in where the sandstone was there we go. It looks a little bit better. It's not the best thing. I'm not claiming it to be, but that looks a whole lot better than it was before. All right, so let me go smelt this stuff up, then we'll get to work on the aquifer. Or aqueduct. Sorry, the aquifer is that thing. We got to work on the aqueduct. By the way, I know I said I'd come back in a minute. Why did we never... 
You know what I mean? Why did we never put the stone cutter down? So let's just let's just throw it down somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, or no, well, I should let's put it on another floor and let's make another pickaxe. But yeah, look at all the stuff. I put all the stuff that we had mined last episode. It all got smelted and we put it in here. We have 13 more copper blocks to work with. So copper is kind of hard to get, you know, at the rate that we want it at least. Um, but for the most part, you know, I'm pretty happy. We got quite a bit of stuff. We can put the stone cutter on this level, sure. Actually, this will. Uh, these that level is blank. This one's kind of our bedroom, so I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of a kind of wherever you want to put something type of deal. So type of deal. You guys know how it is. Um, yeah, there was like no copper on this level at all. Okay, yeah, we need to fix that. Okay, put the copper back. I'm basically just trying to add more copper because I don't think there was enough over here. We kind of ran out, didn't we? There we go. Okay, so that's more copper. Uh, we'll save the rest for more future paths. I think that's a good amount. All right, so I'm going to sleep, and then we'll start to actually work on the aqueduct. Hopefully, all of the stuff will be done smelting. Okay, we have no wood at all, and we have a bit. I know I said I'd come back. I'm sorry. I was going to make some, you know, item frames, so I quit missing all my chests here. Um, like this one, we can just put, like, a red... S no. What should we put on it to make it look rare? We'll put, we'll put a gold on it. So that way, we just stop clicking on the wrong chests every time. Actually, I hate it on that side. We're going to put it on this side. No, I guess we have. Well, I know. I know. Okay. And then this is blocks. So I'll just put like an andesite on it. I really don't care what's on this one. Um, and then what's the other chest that I'm using a ton? Probably my alive chest. We can put something like, sure, just a sugar cane is fine. And then we can put up that stuff. We, we're not going to need it anymore. Okay. So I'm guessing that most of our sandstone is done. Probably enough to work with at least. Now, I did make a mistake. I need to go and get normal sandstone again uh, just to make these sandstone walls. I always forget about those, and I end up smelt. Wait, 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 wait. It's still in the furnace. Dude. Sometimes my brain just is not the smartest. Look at that. Now we have enough, and we don't have to go get any. Ooh, there we go. Okay, and we have 56 as well. Okay, now building these aquifers, I don't even remember how it's done, really, uh, but we're going to figure it out. I think it's like you build it with this and then you put slabs on the bottom half and the water runs down it, right? Yeah. See, I could just look at that and be like, yeah, that's how it works. That's how she goes. Yeah, pretty easy. So we'll go over to this side and we'll start building it. Now we can only go out seven, remember? So this would be counted as one. Wait, were these slabs? Yeah, these were slabs probably. Wait, aquifer is down one. Hold on. Okay, my bad. Now I understand. Okay, so the water will be flowing here. So these, are, this is where the slabs go. Like this. So we'll go down like four or something like that. And then we need to turn it. So we'll have to go like this. And we'll have to turn it. And then we'll have to go down. Remember, we got to put the, all those annoying stairs. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to figure out how I did the bottom. Did I just kind of extend it one off? Yeah, this is all I did. So something like this. Remember, this is the bottom of the aquifer. No. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I built those slabs one too high. Let me fix it. So I'm just trying to get the designs the same. That's why I'm being like, dang it. <laughs> Instead of just kind of going with the flow. Because if I don't make these all the exact same, it could be bad. Uh, then we'll turn it, and then we'll start to go down like right here. And then I don't remember what goes on the bottom, but that's okay. And then we'll go down like three, then we'll go down again. Because we have to get this kind of down quickly. Yeah, we still got tons of room to work with. Two, three, and then go down. One, two, three, then go down. This is a lot of wasted space. Maybe we'll make sub aquifers that go off on the sides here just to kind of supply the whole thing. Now, will this work? Will this take too many materials? I don't know. Do we want those going off to the side? I mean, it could look good. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do two, and that should be fine. I know that one doesn't go down in the same interval, which I guess we could just fix. Instead of looking at it and saying it doesn't do what it should do, we just like are like, yeah, nah. <laughs> okay, so now that's kind of symmetrical. Yes, okay. Now we just got to build the slabs, which is the fun part, I think. Now I'm trying to remember, how did the stairs go? Were the stairs just where it went down? I know, I keep falling. Yeah, it was just a stair. Yeah, it's two stairs. I guess where it goes down, okay. Yeah, that's right. Now it's all coming back to me. And remember, we were putting dirt. We'll just do cobblestone. So it's like you put the cobblestone like right here um, on all these. And this is just so you can put a stair on top of it. We'll go down below and destroy it in a second. Uh, which block was it again? 
No, you don't put a stair there. What am I thinking? You put a stair right here. Like this. Get it through your brain, Neo. Okay, so let me finish building this aqueduct because it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit tedious. And I don't think it's gonna be something you want to watch too much of. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so they're pretty much built. There's just a few little tiny things I gotta do. First of all, before I like finish texturing them, I'm gonna make sure that it actually works. Uh, cause we don't know if the water will go down both branches. Now it did over here, I think with a little bit of trickery and it's going down two different ways. So hopefully we can achieve the same thing here. At least that's the goal. So we can run up this. If we built it right, you can just kind of run all the way up it and let it rip. Okay. Oh, dude. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna, it's, it's, oh, is it too, too short? Okay. Well, we can't really fix that. Oh God. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know how to fix this without making this whole thing. I guess we could go down like immediately right here and then have it go over. I don't know. If I put water here, will this even fix it? No. <laughs> it goes one further, but that is not the goal. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't texture this because you may have to move this whole thing one block back. I guess I should have counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Water only flows seven blocks where you got to go down. Okay. I think I'm going to, I don't know. I think I'm just going to lower this whole thing by one and try that. So give me a minute. Yeah. I already found the solution. It was actually way easier than I was thinking. Now, is this seven blocks? Wait, 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 wait. Did I just fix the, no, I just lowered the problem. I, I actually don't know. Hold on. We're going to find out together. Does this work? Please. Uh, <laughs> So painful okay it, it's a simple solution really it's a simple solution really hold on i'm gonna go plug it up sleep and then we'll fix it in the morning because it's actually really easy okay sleep has occurred we are now during the daytime and let's go figure this out which i think i have the solution wait oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i was just gonna bring this one black <laughs> one block <laughs> what is going on with my words one block back there we go why is it one block back, one block back, one block back? No, it's not even a tongue twister. I just have been recording, I guess, three episodes in a row, which usually near the end, it's like my brain, like I can't talk as well. I guess I'll play the game as well, but sometimes I'll say silly things and I'm like, eh, it's just how it goes, bro. Okay, we'll put this here and then we'll break it and then we'll see if it works. Yeah. Yeah. No, go the other way too. Yeah. And this way. Yeah. Okay. So you just have to encourage it a little bit. Nice. Okay. So it works. And for the most part, we'll just kind of plug up the ends here and we'll get to work on the actual farm. That was way easier than I uh, anticipated. Okay. So now all I got to do is go under here and just put some upside down stairs, add a few supports. So I will do that real quick and then I will come back. So see you in a little bit. Yes. I fixed this stair right here. Don't worry. Okay, that's done. And I figure it's probably a good idea to fill in this creeper hole. I think it exploded that first night we were here and we didn't really have the sand to fill it in. But now that we're, you know, doing a little bit better with resources, I can it can't hurt to fill it in, right? Can't hurt at all. Okay, nice. Let's grab these things. Okay, so for the sugarcane farm, I don't have like an exact design like planned or anything like that. Um, this isn't one of the builds that I had planned out. Let me just carve this out a little bit so we have a little bit more room to work with here. And I'll come back when I'm done. <laughs> okay. So I bit off a little more than I could chew there. My shovel's about to break. So we'll just leave it like that for now. Um, okay. So I guess, yeah, I do need to do... Hold on. Let me fill this in. Okay. And then a viewer suggestion favorite. <laughs> we'll remove all the cactuses. So any comments I see during this week's three episodes, I will add to the idea board if I like them. Uh, don't ask me questions about the bad people. We're not going to talk about them yet. Uh, we'll save that for in the future, but you know, feel free to be curious, but uh, I don't know if we're going to get into that for a while. So we'll just, we'll just leave it be for now. Now, as for how the farm's going to work, I honestly have no idea. Uh, I, I, I just I just really have no idea. I think what I'm going to do is just have the water just sort of fall down into a hole like right here for now. So let's just break this. Well, yeah, we'll just have the water fall into a hole. And uh, we're just going to build like a ring thing. I really don't know what that means, but uh, we'll kind of figure it out here. So let's figure out exactly where do these where do these diverge from? Meaning where do they separate direction? Okay. 
Which block is this? The one right here? I'm just going to mark it because I, I want to know exactly where it is. I know it's a little destructive, but it's okay. We can go back up there and put it pretty easy. So I want to be able to count exactly how big this thing is. So it is... Okay, so it's a 14 by 14 square. So we're going to go 14 blocks in this direction. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we're one block off. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, maybe I counted wrong. You know, whatever. We're just gonna we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go line up with this hole over here. So as for how this farm is gonna work, again, I'm not totally sure. I do know I'm gonna need a ton of buckets. So we're gonna have, oh, not a ton of buckets. We already have the two on us. Perfect. So I'll make a little infinite water source here. Which I guess we really didn't need to do because now this is infinite. Or maybe not. I don't know. Water has always kind of been above my pay grade in Minecraft. I don't. I understand how it works, unlike Forge Labs, but I do not understand how it works. N no offense, Forge Labs. Okay, it took you forever for the infinite water source. I think it's funny. Okay, I think it's funny. I don't. I'm not making. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Why is this like this? Why is this? Why? Why are you like that? Can we just stop that, dude? What? Okay, hold on. Is this water like that too? So apparently you can't fix that. You know what? Whatever. I, I'm not gonna let it bother me. It bothers me, but I'm not gonna let it bother me if if you catch my drift. Okay. And then we're gonna basically go in another block like this. Oh no, we don't even have enough wood to make a craft table. Okay, I'm gonna go make an iron shovel. I'll be right back. All right. So we're gonna jump off into the pool of destiny. Oh, I almost didn't make it. And what's fun is that we can run all the way on these aqueducts. I know they don't have any lighting or anything. <clears throat> and they're also all made of sandstone. I may end up changing that and add a few, like, different colors in them. I'll experiment with it, you know, off camera. I'm not going to, like, sit here and go through a million different blocks to add. But, it, you know, it couldn't be a bad thing if we add a little bit of color. I wish we had the red sandstone so we could put it on here. Uh, but maybe I could do that with acacia or something. I, re I, I really don't know. Uh, but I think you guys kind of understand when our, where I'm going with this. <clears throat> and I guess we'll put the water. Okay, I need to drink water in real life. Hold on. Okay, there we go. My voice is back temporarily. And then we're just going to build it like this. You see what I mean? And then you can put a you can put sugar cane like on the outside here. And then you can put it on the inside right here. And then we'll put water here. Does that make sense? I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I hope I, I hope it makes sense. Okay. I hope it makes sense. So it'll look like a nice little water maze thingy. I guess this one should be one over here, right? Yeah. Okay. We just have to line this up where there's two in here as well. Okay. So we'll just have the water go like that. And then we'll have the water connect right there. Then we need to put the sand back. I got to sleep. Man, I'm all over the place, aren't I? Okay, cool. Let me go sleep and then I'll meet you guys back here. Uh, please, I want to make it back. The only thing we have to show for it is an Enderman. Can we take on an Enderman? Uh, maybe. I really don't want him destroying my stuff. Oh, you're gone. Okay. <laughs> all right, fine. You know what? If I don't have to deal with you, all the better. All the better. Okay, so we'll make an infinite water source here. Let me fill in all the water here. Um, and then hopefully the thing will make a little bit more sense. Potentially. There's a chance it will never make sense. And if... If that's the case, it's okay. Probably should quit recording, but nah. You guys are going to watch me put all these water buckets down. You're going to understand what I go through. The trials. Okay. So that's an infinite water source in and of itself. And then we just have to do this. And then one more. Okay, so now the water's all in here. So it's not, I know it's not like flowy water, but that's okay. And it's not the most space efficient farm in the world. But do you kind of understand where I'm going with this? And then it'll just kind of go in here. And, you know, maybe there's... Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't put stuff on the corners, can you? That's okay. You can at least put it, like, right here. And that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. If you can't put it on the corners, that is more than okay. I can actually, in fact, make something cool if I had some acacia wood. I'm going to go grab a bunch of acacia wood. I'm going to let this stuff grow, and uh, don't mind me. I'll come back in just a little bit, but I got to get some acacia wood because I can't. That thing looks so cool. Guys, check out my acacia forest. 
I planted these saplings the episode before last, and look how many there are. I think that's pretty cool, right? We don't actually use our we don't actually use our actual tree farm because it doesn't make enough, but that's okay. It looks pretty. Okay, we're back over here with the slabs. And I can't demonstrate this fully because like I don't oh, 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 have any like you know <laughs> sugar cane to fill in the whole thing. But yeah, look, we can make a nice path through the whole thing, and it actually fits really nice. And that way we can actually get to all the sugar cane. Uh, now I could do it a little different. Maybe we had some trap doors in there or something. I think that might look pretty good. So let's craft a few of those. And, uh, yeah, we can kind of do it like, oh, wait, 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 I, I think, wait, can you put, no, the next highest is up there. Okay, so we can put a slab here and then a trap door. Yeah, looks kind of cool. Going over the water. Okay, and then we can just kind of do it every other time. That's fine with me. Now it looks more like a path. Maybe, maybe just trap doors? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Trap doors looking pretty good, too. I don't know. We can kind of play around with it. We don't have to keep it like this, uh, but now we have a little bit of a path to get across, and uh, I don't know. It it, I think it looks kind of neat. Uh, now, we got to wait for all the sugar cane to grow. Obviously, it's not just going to, like, grow on its own. I'm going to surround this thing with some, like, walls, I guess. I, I don't actually know. With this one, I feel like it's square enough where we should kind of continue that square trend, but at the same time, does it even really matter? Does it even really matter? Maybe I'll put a little, yeah, I'll put a little stair there on the inside one. And then on the outside one, we'll put a nice little stair like that. Okay. And then maybe surround it. Yeah. Hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Now, as far as how we're going to do that, I don't know. Let me play around with it. I'll figure a design out and I'll come up and show you guys. You know what, guys? I kind of like it. Made a little bit of a wall here with a little bit of acacia slabs. And then, you know, we could probably mix in some acacia fence in there as well. Let me just put this crafting table back out, back down here. Uh, how many sticks do we need? I really don't know. I always overestimate the stick, the stick quantity I'm going to need. How much does that yield me? Yeah, and that's all my wood is now gone into random things that I probably don't need. I probably didn't need to get as many as I got, but that's okay. Yeah, we can have those all support the leaves. <laughs> sure, that's fine with me. Where were they? The second block? Okay. I see. I see. Okay. So maybe something like that. I mean, I don't know. You you, you could put more fence in here if you really wanted to. Uh, you know, actually, yeah. I think we're just going to fill everything in with fence. That way it actually works as a fence for once instead of just having a, a purely aesthetic fence that does absolutely nothing. I guess you can just walk in right there. You know what? We're not going to talk about it. That's one of those things we're just not going to talk about. I think it looks unique. It's better than like a normal fence. I feel like all fences have looked the same for a while. And then you have a way to walk on here. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the episode for now. Uh, I mean, not for now, but like we, we've done quite a bit. We made another aquifer. We made another farm. We're going to need the sugar canes so that we can hopefully build a nice enchanting area, which I already have a cool plan for. So if you guys want to see next week's episodes, be sure to subscribe. Um, you know, obviously, if you don't want to see them, don't subscribe. But thank you guys very, very much for watching. I've appreciated all the amazing support in this series thus far. Um, you guys are totally awesome. Secret code for today's episode is going to be... 9741. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of this episode. Uh, you don't have to, of course, but you can if you want to. Again, 9741. Put it down in the comments because uh, only people that make it to the end see it anyways. So if you made it to the end, congrats. And also, the bad guys. We'll talk more about it in the future, but I was a part of them. I ran away. Now I'm here in the desert making my own civilization. We're not going to talk to them for quite a while. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching episode six. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want, and be sure to put the secret code down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, now hold on. I'm only doing this because otherwise I'm just going to be like, oh, dude, it's not even 30 minutes long. It wasn't 30 minutes. I made it 29 minutes, and I have a pretty good internal clock with that kind of stuff, but I didn't actually do it right. So we're going to go a full 30 minutes. Um, so everything grew in our uh, it tilted circular diagonal farm, which is kind of nice. And I think it looks good. You know, it's not the most efficient farm in the world, but, you know, we'll harvest that eventually. And then I'll harvest this stuff. I I've been harvesting it off camera because it's not too fun. Hopefully the sugar cane can spread before I take a thumbnail, but I, I can wait a few days because this video won't go up until Sunday. Uh, but I definitely can wait a little bit and then fill this bad boy in. It's going to look a lot better once it's filled in. I know it looks a little funky right now, but 
Trust me. Once it's filled in, it'll be a lot better. Anyways, okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next weekend. Bye. The second time? <laughs>